protégete todo el tiempo. Buena suerte. Good luck. Let's go. Of Diaz's aggression. Diaz showing respect, but ripping Marquez with another left hook. Three body shots from Marquez. Diaz goes in with the right hand. This is going to be a hellacious war. The well-known cultural Mexican tradition of willing to mix it up. And are they ever? What a big left hook by Diaz. Marquez trying to fire back. Lands a right cross and a left hook. Round one is an all-out war. I get the hunch that Marquez is going to need to stay off the ropes, Emmanuel. Yes, and I don't think he's going to do that. And the way that Diaz is punching, he's got his head down more. Well, he's getting better leverage in the exchanges, and Marquez's head is up more. Where he can maximize his strength. Big left hook. Staggers Marquez. Marquez in trouble. To land more than 30 punches in the round. Big left hook by Diaz. Straight right hand by Marquez. He has jabbing and hunting. Marquez going to the body and coming back up. Missed the right hand. What a round. Here we say Diaz driving in, as we call him, left hook right there. And had probably more effect than it, it, it would have had, except for, because he had him back and back. And he's maximizing his weight on every punch by lunging. But you have to wonder about those reflexes at the age of 35. <laughs> and particularly, Given the wars he's been in. Being bored all at once, but he's looked really good in the first couple of rounds against a guy who's looked just a tiny bit better. This is the Juan Diaz that had the boxing world buzzing before his loss to Nate Campbell. Well, then, uh, what a win. What determination. Good luck took by Diaz. Time. I saw three judges go to the floor. Very, very rare. Back to this fight. Juan Diaz led the more three judges. Just like this one, right there. Three to nothing, Diaz. You know, I understand that score. And Diaz ending the harder punches. Well, I think he might be a harder puncher. But Diaz has been brilliant so far at finding those moments when Marquez's right hand is slightly dropped. He's landed several flush left hooks. Yeah, and he gets maximum level. He hunches his body forward in a Joe Frazier type style where his left hook. Why should a fight like this even be scored? Just let him fight to the finish. Marquez is landing a lot of clean effective combination, particularly at the end of the round. Diaz is trying to follow. again, imposing his will against Marquez on the ropes and catches. Now Marquez will look to land a three or four point combination and he nails Diaz with two uppercuts in a row. Both whoever throws more body punches may ultimately be the winner in the fight. Well, I tell you what, this is going to be a tough fight by the What a huge lap. And our competing, a competitor network, Showtime. One difference.
because he considers Diaz a half Mexican. Well, he's American Mexican. What action. This is amazing. Marquez is a good defensive fighter, but Diaz overwhelms his defense, overtaxes it with the similar kind of dire way here against Marquez. Well, we told you how Marquez adjusts and yeah, comes Mar on. Oh, and he's Mar Diaz. Mar Diaz got caught with a left hook, and he looks stunned. 25 seconds to go. Can the great technician find yeah. a way? Diaz, Diaz with a left Don't worry about that cut. The cut is okay. okay. All right. Here you see Marquez mixing up his punches, punches to the outside and between the gloves. I think that left uppercut between the gloves right there was a shot that caused the cut. You and here is the left hook that he catches with the head, which he just simply didn't see the punch. And it's a, it's a punch that hurts is always one you didn't see. Because he, they didn't Wait, don't if he stops catch. it, it'll be the first thing he's done in the fight. Though Marquez is the much more experienced, in fact, it's Diaz who's had more experience fighting at fighting in his hometown. And he's supposedly the stronger man. And he's hurt. Yeah. A huge uppercut. Down goes Diaz. Well, let's see something because he doesn't know how to clinch. Can he make it out of the ring? Five. No. 35 seconds to go. A very brave okay. one will probably go back to fighting. A spirit fighter would probably clinch, but I don't think that's what he's going to do. And look at Marquez go to the body. Look at him go to the body and try to set up the finish. And what a right hand. And that will be that. What you just saw was a really good young fighter knocked out by a great old fighter. Let's hear the particulars on the knockout from Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, before we give the official time, a round of applause for these two blood and guts lightweight warriors in this ring here tonight in Houston. The official time, two minutes. 40 seconds, round number nine. The winner by knockout victory, Still Ring Magazine, world champion, and now WBA, WBO, and IBO unified, lightweight champion of the world, Juan Manuel Dinamita. <laughs>